I'm going to tell y'all right now, Enzo Calzaghe is not a happy man. <laughs> you know, he's upset with this uh, Virgil Hunter, you know, who's been more vocal than I've ever heard him. And all Virgil Hunter was saying that his fighter, Andre Ward, would have no problems with Joe Calzaghe. And Enzo went through a thing. <laughs> I mean, he attacked Twitter real hard, and this is what he said for those who didn't go on there. I'm going to read it word for word. Um, this is Enzo Calzaghe, father and trainer of the undefeated Joe Calzaghe, who retired a few years ago. Okay, so much about Big Mouse from America. Here's another one called Virgil Hunter, Andre Ward's trainer, saying that if Joe Calzaghe and his fighter, Ward, ever met in the ring, his fighter would sweep Joe aside so easily and that Joe wouldn't be able to cope with Ward's ability. Ward's trainer must be punch drunk. I think he's got Yankee Titus Syndrome. <laughs> It's an infection that some of the American trainers suffered with before Joe kicked their fighters' asses. Sometimes it is great to live in cuckoo land, but once you suffer from that problem as Jeff Lacey, Roy Jones, and Bernard Hopkins did, it's hard to believe the truth. So what do I believe would happen if they ever met? Joe would be too good in all departments. He would be too fast, too strong, and all of the above too powerful for Ward to handle. Let's not get carried away with Ward's victory over Chad Dawson because Chad Dawson isn't Joe Calzaghe. Okay, Vivian? Keep on dreaming, my friend. And that's his quote for quote. Now, my breakdown of this fight, if they were in their primes, not that Joe should even consider fighting him. And they really shouldn't be pushing a Joe Calzaghe envelope. Um, there's still fights out there for them to make. Instead of digging up Joe. Now. Joe in his prime was a somebody. He's the most underrated fighter I think. Out of all of them. But sometimes the fans get involved. And then they overrate him. And compare him to Marvin Hagler. And stuff like that. That's just insanity. But Joe Calzaghe was the goods. What Joe Calzaghe possessed, a lot of fighters didn't have. Joe Calzaghe's conditioning and stamina was so good, he could sustain throwing hundreds of punches and rounds with no problem. His footwork, the way he moved around the ring, Andre Ward hasn't fought a guy like that. He's fought a lot of slow, flat-footed fighters. He has not fought anybody with that kind of speed and that kind of boxing ability that would give him problems when he sets. So, I'm not saying he's going to beat Andre Ward. And I'm, I'm just saying, in their prime, it's more of a fight than what people think it is. More of a fight.